Okay, so here's yet another example of a removable discontinuity, and you can see the expression is still a fraction, uh, but this time it's a little bit weirder. There's a fraction on top of a fraction, and uh, even though I can substitute the 2 into the s for the numerator, because that will just be 1 over 2, which will be 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2, that will give me 0. That's not where the problem is. The problem is in the denominator, that also gives me 0. So I'm not allowed to substitute. I first have to continue by trying to remove the discontinuity before I substitute. Okay, and to do that, I must simplify a fraction. Now, to simplify a fraction on top of a fraction, I will first have to simplify the fraction in the numerator. Now, that is, or well, those are two fractions, so I need to add them. To add two fractions, I must get a common denominator, which is 2s. That needs a 2, that needs an s. So multiply top and bottom with a 2 there, multiply top and bottom with an s here. So what do I get? In the numerator, I get 2 minus s, okay, in this, in the, de well, this in the denominator. Okay, so my next step, I can now simplify a little bit, okay, I am dividing a fraction with a fraction, so I take, this one is actually over 1, so I can tip in times, I can have 2 minus s over 2s times, and then swap this one around, 1 over s minus 2. Now, we can see there's a 2 minus s and an s minus 2. One of them can swap around like this, okay, as long as I change the sign in front. Why? Well, let me show you this. Minus s minus 2 is 2 minus s. Let me show you. If we multiply in the negative, we get minus s plus 2, which is the same as 2 minus s. Okay, so this can actually be negative, okay, negative s minus 2. So that that and that can cancel, and I'm left with a negative 1 in the numerator, okay, uh, negative 1 in the numerator. I still haven't substituted, so let's keep this. And that's not a 4 me, and that should be a 2, sorry. Sorry, I didn't notice that earlier. It should be a 2. Okay, so that must be negative 1 over 2s uh, times 1 over 1, which is just 1. Okay, so that's what I get. And then I can substitute. Because now when I substitute the 2, it's 2 times 2. There's no 0 in any denominator. Then I get negative 1 over 4. Negative 1 over 2 times 2 is 4. Again, this means in this expression, you can go and test it. Take 2.1 and you'll get an answer that is close to negative 0, 0,25. Okay, take a number that is closer to 2, 2, 0,01 and you'll get a number that's even closer to zero, negative 0, 0.25. And as you try and get closer to 2, you'll, you'll be able in this expression to get close to negative a quarter, and uh, yet you can never actually get to 2 because then you'll divide with a 0, which you're not allowed to do. Cool. That's me for now. I think I'll maybe do one or two more examples if I can find any good ones. See you later then.